actually arrived thinking that we were doing CGI and I would just have to stick on a few dots and suddenly I was going, wait, why am I being called four hours before everyone else? What's up with that? And then I learned, ah, oh, I must have missed the conversation where it was decided it was prosthetics instead, but... Day 62, and tensions are running sky high on the set of <laughs> Love and Thunder because his mood is at an all-time low. I'm about to go and help pick up the spirits with my bubbly, energetic personality. This is 10 years for me. I'd have loved every time I played the character. This new film transitions us from endgame into a rebirth. Thor doesn't know what his place is in the universe. <laughs> That's represented in his wardrobe as well. I was really excited to come back as the Mighty Thor and get to share the mantle. What are you wearing? I love it. <laughs> to have both of us in the same cape. <laughs> um, that was amazing and incredible, especially with Taika at the helm. Taika, he's like a big kid. He's like a sort of a genius child. I wasn't afraid to be flamboyant and a bit camp. Hi. Three, two, one, scream. <laughs> Giant goats. Look at those, they are wonderful. Yes, they are. They also scream quite a lot. It's hugely imaginative and fun. It's such an enormous scale. It's a crazy space adventure with a new villain who's pretty monstrous. Oh, God, she will die. We really raised the bar with Ragnarok. Love and Thunder is even more unique and different, so it's pretty exciting. For this film, Thor Love and Thunder, uh, we used the volume, which is uh, basically, it's a big circular room made of LED screens and you project your environments on the screen. So imagine, you know, a thousand televisions all in a big circle in the ceiling as well. And then you put an entire environment 360 degrees. And what's great is it lights the characters and the characters, the actors themselves can see all of the stuff. They can see what the, you know, instead of a, on a green screen or a blue screen, you're asking the actors to pretend they're looking at something. And then you put that in later on. And so often they'll be looking at like a little dot on a green screen or a tennis ball on a stick. And then they ask, what is this? And you have to say, I don't know. It might be a dragon, but it also might be a flying dolphin. Love and thunder. It's just so loud and in your face and flamboyant. It's always really fun working with Taika. Three, two, one, scream! Ah! It's been an absolute disaster, but that's just the way it is on my films. Taika is like a big kid, sort of genius child. This, this imagination is second to none. Taika's a very bloody original filmmaker. He's mind-blowingly talented. This movie is just going to double down on Ragnarok, how vibrant the worlds are. Taika wanted to have fun, tell a big story, but also showcase this emotion and this heart that Taika can do. I think Taika is really good at reflecting the way life can be dark and comedic all at once. So we wanted to make a crazy space adventure but also something that's emotional and means something. You ever feel lost? Look into the eyes of the people that you love. Am I uh, sensing feelings? Well, <laughs> you're right. Taika brought such a new energy, not just to the Marvel Universe, but to this franchise. It certainly has everything. Comedy, drama, action. There's never a dull moment. <laughs> When we first came up with Love and Thunder, I thought, yeah, the fans will really freak out about this. I love you all, and that is a wrap. Yeah, Taika Waititi, you know, since Ragnarok really changed the game. And uh, both he and I discussed this at length about doing something very different and something unique. And um, he continues to, to push the envelope and raise the bar. and and keep audiences guessing, keep them on their toes. You know, he, he's collaborative and fun and chaotic and exciting. And uh, that's what this film is, you know, it, it embodies 
the most adventurous spirit um, that is that is needed to be a Marvel Cinematic Universe film and picture. Here we go, first shot of the day. This guy over here is gonna direct just for one day and then we're gonna see how he goes. It's like experience, it's exciting. Do you swear to guard the Nine Realms? I swear. And do you swear to preserve the peace? I swear. One of the early decisions we made at Marvel Studios was bringing on Thor. And we always knew we wanted to find an amazing performer who had the chops to perform this character as we saw him. We looked the world over and we found Chris Hemsworth. This world is my punishment. It's my punishment for my endless pursuit of glory. The way Chris did it, we thought, okay, well, this is gonna work. It's really, really just impressive to watch him work. He's so committed and works so hard. He has such incredible comedic talent as well. This drink, I like it. Another! <laughs> That's the best thing to do! Chris Hemsworth as Thor! This is what it's all about, you know, is, is coming and meeting the people who love the characters more than anyone, and so that's a very, very special thing. <laughs> it really is inspiring because he is brave enough to try things and see what sticks. When I came on to do Ragnarok, I basically just said, look, man, you just got to be more of yourself. Does it have to be in that order? To make the character more relatable and funny. I swear, I'm not even moving. It's just doing this on its own. I think that's what you want in a superhero. Yeah! I have loved every single time I played the character. This is uh, 10 years now. To have the opportunity to do another one is just mind-blowing, you know? It's going to be incredible. What a classic Thor adventure. Oh, 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 oh. And flick. Oh, you flick too hard, damn it! It's been an absolute joy. I've learned something different about myself and about the character and, and thanks to people like Tyker and other different cast and producers and writers, you know, there, there's continued to be a reimagining of the world and the character and um, that's why I've kept coming back because of, you know, my own interest to do something different but also that's demanded of us uh, by the fans and um, I'm just so full of gratitude and thanks for the opportunity to do it again because I have so much fun playing the character. Uh, I love it. I, I've worked my hardest to uh, have most of the films I've done over the last few years shot here in Australia. We have an abundance of, of talent and I've met so many talented people, cast and crew across the globe who wish they could be back in Oz and uh, you know, the, the moment I had an opportunity or any sway in the vote to bring it back here, I did so and um, I just feel very lucky to do that. Human handshake to the Asgardian shake into the snake that you cannot trust. Really dragging this out. And finish the classic Asgardian high one. In theater July 8th, tickets on sale now.